you are essentially you're 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 kicked out, right? You're you're out of the this program. You can't work with these crafts anymore. And do they give you any threats? Do they tell you what you have to do from here on out? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the way it ended was um, I told George Knapp all this stuff. And, um, you know, he said, well, let's just get it on tape. Should something happen, at least we have a record of it. And um, I don't remember what the impetus was, but um, at some point George wanted to air it. And he said, you know, you make the call on it. And look, if at any point you change your mind, uh, we won't air it. And it came down to the day where George wants to put it on the 5 o'clock news. He said, hey, this is important stuff. People have to know about it. And I thought it was too. I thought it's kind of a crime. I know you got to keep the technology secret, but you can't not tell everybody that this stuff is going on, that we have, you know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big fucking deal, you know, probably the biggest one there ever was. And um, George said, you know, today's the day we got to put it on the news or something to that effect. And when it came right down to the time to air it, I changed my mind and I said, we're not doing it. And that's what turned into the famous wrestling match between me and George trying to get the tape, but he won because he was a bigger guy. <laughs> so you actually physically wrestled? Well, I think it was more of a pulling match. We were I don't think we ever hit the ground, <laughs> but uh, he got the tape, he put it in the player, and boom, 5 o'clock news was on. And then um, I got a call after that, and they said, it was from Dennis. He said, do you have any idea what we're going to do to you now? And he hung up the phone. That was the last communication I had with him. And what has happened to you since then? After that, um, a lot of people I've known um, either were audited by the IRS, people had anybody I know that had clearances that worked in secure programs, had the clearances pulled. One of them, a uh, friend that. One of mine that Jeremy knows. He's going um, on camera with me soon. He'll tell the story now that he's out of work up there. He was working up at the Tonopah test range, waiting for his clearance to come through. And, you know, they, they pulled that. It, it, would, it became, it's like if they can't get the person that's involved, they just create a problem for everybody that surrounds them. And so, I mean, it, the way it turns out, it hurt a lot of people's lives that uh, I was connected to. And that's an effective way of shutting someone up. So Did you I feel that by coming forward and going public, they couldn't just snuff you out? That was, I mean, that's what I was told. And George and everybody, you know, said that you got oh, it's, you know, it's, it's public. There's, you know, no one will touch you. And I, I you know, I, I fell for it. Um, and I, Do I you just, wish you didn't. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes yeah, when sometimes. it's just overstressed and people are camping on your lawn. Yeah, but it's uh, this is going to make things worse doing this. No, this is going to um, make things better. <laughs> oh, That's what I was trying to tell him. 